firstly, why do you think that careers in computer science now mainly go to men instead of women like they originally did? Um, I think that there are certain subjects that attract more boys than girls when they're at school and therefore they carry on into those careers and computing is one of them. Why did you go into computing in the first place and did you find it enjoyable? Yes, I loved it. I, I, um, I was first inspired when I was about your age, when I was at school, when we learned about binary numbers and how computers used them to save information sort of thing, and that's, I went on from there. Hmm? So how does your job now relate to computing? Um, right, well I do a lot of data analysis, use the special um, school information systems and um, Microsoft Office applications. What tips do you have for someone who wants to do computer science in the future? Um, to um, pra practice your logic, so maybe do logic puzzles and things like that. Anything that breaks things down into steps and you have to follow a, a logical sequence sort of thing. So, Thank you. Okay. What got you into coding? Um, so I've been interested in it since I was at school, um, when I was about probably sort of 15, 16. It, I mean, you know, when I was, well, no, the, in, the internet sort of came in as I was a teenager, it became more popular, and I got interested in making websites, and a few of my friends did a similar thing. I began to support myself online, I made a website about meeting my friends, and then when I was at university, I made a couple of websites um, for sort of interest in music for the band society and for the band that I was in at uni. So, yeah, and then um, more recently, I've got back into it, sort of again, teaching myself online, various things, and yeah, uh -huh. making things. Okay, um, what is it about coding that you find interesting? I enjoy the problem solving aspect of it. So, it's obviously it, it connects with maths quite well, so it's also kind of like, you know, you've got to use codes to create something or make something work on the website, and I enjoy that aspect of it, the logic and um, the thinking the problem through it, but thinking how you're going to solve it, what are you going to apply to make it work, basically. Okay. Um, do you have any tips for someone who wants to do like, um, straight career in coding? Um, I think at school, obviously maths is really important, um, and I suppose ICT is too. Um, I know they've brought more sort of computing and that sort of thing into the curriculum, uh, which is good. Um, at A level, if you've got an option to do computing, A level, that would be good. Um, but outside of school, I just think get out there on the internet. There's so many online resources which are really, really helpful, even for young people. You know, they're quite easy to use, um, and there's just a lot of information. You can learn quite a lot. You just go and make things, go make some websites, make an app, yeah, that sort of thing. Alright, thank you, Lucy. Okay. I'm here from Connell School doing a BBC School Report. Today I'm interviewing Sarah. We hear that you're planning on going into career in computing. What was it that inspired you to do computing? Well, one of my ICT teachers noticed that I was very enthusiastic about ICT and computing and took me aside and showed me the different website that I could go on to to improve my uh, knowledge over the subject. Do you think that ICT at Connell encourages Yes, as an extra part of the curriculum, um, they sh t the ICT teachers showed us how to uh, compute and enter in the data coding for a special website and then, as they did with me, took people aside and said, oh, yeah, I can see you're interested in this, this is what you can do. Um, do you have a preference on what area of computing you want to go into? Yes, I would quite like to go into a website. Okay. Thank you, Sarah.